Right, well, good evening, everybody. Um, I'm impressed to see so many of us have to turn out at 6 30, so thank you for that. Um, in terms of apologies for absence, the Mayor gives his apologies because he's in the Elbow Suite at another meeting, and Councillors uh, Fuller and Sparks have also given apologies. Councillor Baker said that she may be late, but she would try to get here, yeah. but she may not make it, and that's everybody. Mm -hmm. Uh, do we accept the apologies we've had from councillors Robinson, Sparks and Fuller? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Declarations of interest. If anybody owns a business in the high street, it seems unlikely. But um, any disclosable pecuniary interests? Okay. Other interests? Okay. Requests for dispensation? Okay. Gifts or hospitality accepted over the value of £50? Or any inappropriate gifts or hospitality offered silence range. Uh, public participation, well, there's just not enough space for the public. Yeah. <laughs> they wanted to be able to participate, frankly. Well, so. They're not exactly banging on the door. <laughs> no, um, not exactly. Uh, so there is no public participation, and presumably, therefore, no consideration of requests from interested parties which enables us to move swiftly on to the main purpose of tonight's meeting, indeed the only purpose of tonight's meeting, which is to receive an update on the High Street's Heritage Action Zone Expression of Interest bid, which is a bit of a mouthful, and to agree next steps <coughs> prior to submission to Heritage England. I'm not absolutely sure who's leading on this. Am I going to get push forward? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Okay. No, sir. Well, Clive, Clive and I have been um, attending the meetings with the uh, Business Association. So, um, as I'm sure everyone knows, the information was provided to us only the, towards the end or middle, middle of June, I guess. Um, it requires a, uh, a, uh, an expression of interest if we want to make a, uh, an attempt to um, gain funding via <coughs> this, um, this uh, grant. Um, what council, I think, do you want to discuss it council at all or not? I'm not sure we did. I think we just said we'd, we'd forward it to the Business Association and see whether they felt they were something <coughs> to try and do with our support. So, um, so there have been two meetings so far between Clive and myself representing the council and the Business Association uh, on uh, Wednesday morning, two weeks ago. Wednesday morning last week, and there's going to be another one tomorrow yeah. to review, review the same, the same thing <coughs> Monday morning, which I'm assuming we've put the room for, are we here? Yeah, yeah. Support, yeah. Um, they've been pretty well attended. Uh, there's been, um, and about our county councillors attended them. Um, <coughs> we've had um, some of me and C attending as well, haven't we? Um, to, so, so we attended? No, I'm not going to go that one. No, no, she didn't make it. She is, has been sort of right. close on there. Yeah. Um, so we've had a yeah, pretty good commitment really from people to say yes let's go on let, let's do it you know it's only a three week window how much work for well, it's a limited it's, it's not three months it's 12 it's got July. 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 It's, it's a July it's a grant for uh, funding of between 250,000 and 2 million pounds over a period of four years uh, but that has to be match funded um, so one of the one of the decisions we've made not a final decision, but, but one of the working assumptions we've made so far is that we would make a, 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 a bid for £400,000 worth of grant funding as we felt that finding £100,000 per year for four years from other sources was not easy, but achievable and deliverable. Whereas, you know, if we sort of said, well, we'll have two million, we've got to find half a million pound a year for the next four years, which probably is not realistic. Um, so, and there have been some suggestions raised, made about where alternative grant funding could come from, um, you know, but the, the reality is, of course, we're not time to explore any of that. So we don't know whether that would be achievable, but, but, um, but it felt like it was, it was um, a number that you could, you could aim for. Um, and, and go from there. Um, so we've had quite a lot of support from third parties who have got some expertise in the area. So we've had, I'm going to struggle my names now, sorry, but um, the minutes are available, of course. Um, I'm being, I'm probably not being, um, but the, the first meeting was attended 
no, sorry, the second meeting was attended by um, a gentleman who used to work for English Heritage and, and you know, hasn't sort of knowledge of the, the, the process. Uh, we've also had a telephone conversation with a sort of independent consultant expert who supports towns with these bids. Um, we've had uh, a meeting on Monday uh, midday, or early afternoon, with highways. So highways walked around the, the, um, the um, uh, marketplace with us and talked in very general terms about what you could possibly aspire to do with £800,000. Um, I mean, you know, you, it sounds like a lot of money, but you're not going to be able to refurbish the whole of the town for £800,000. So it's probably going to have to be targeted in, a, in, a, in where we think it can deliver the most impact uh, and make the most difference. Um, the sort of things we've been talking about are um, ways to ensure that the NatWest Bank and the Post Office are redeveloped or re, re, revitalised so that something happens with those and, and talks have taken place with both of the, uh, with the letting agent for the NatWest and, and with the Post Office um, guys. Um, so, so we know, and, and there's a weighty document that needs to be filled in, which we, we've had, you know, good commitment from um, business association people, from Clive and from myself, in trying to find some word for word, words to fill in the forms that say what the wonderful place Handle is, and how the potential is there for it to be so much better if it's some money spent in this way or another, and this is how we do, do achieve it, and, and this is what we do. Um, it probably all sounds a bit vague at the moment, and that's because, to be honest, it is. I mean, you know, and, and realistically, we're not going to have a, a fully formed plan to submit to, with this bid. Um, it's going to be sort of a bit, a bit of an aspirational vision. It's going to be some ideas about what we might want to do. And if we were then successful, one of the things we have to do then is work up a more detailed plan and work out the costings and decide what, what could be done. Whether that is adequate for them to look favourably on our bid, I don't know. I, I, I suspect we're probably on a pretty a bit of a long shot here. And I suspect there'll probably be lots of other people who have got rather better formulated plans than we have. If you look at the, the action zones they've funded in the past, they tend to be in more deprived areas and in bigger towns. Um, and I know the, the consultant I spoke with was saying that um, he's working with a town in Yorkshire, and uh, he would have loved to be able to give us some help, but he's fully, fully, fully employed at the moment. Um, and they've been working on their bid for some time because although the uh, announcement of the bid was um, only um, very recently, um, the, uh, the money, the, the, the fact that the funding would be coming along was announced in the budget apparently, so people had anticipated this could be happening, presumably people with bigger staff and more you know, more resources to, to work on these things. Somebody tipped them off. And some, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it sounds like. So, so, you know, I'm sure there will be bigger towns with much bigger um, council staff members who have been able to do it, resources to do this for some weeks, if not months, yeah. um, to prepare a bit, you know, to prepare their bit. So, yeah, let, let's be realistic. We, we, I think, you know, I think we, we've said it's worth going for it, but we shouldn't be building up our hopes too far, perhaps, in terms of this being deliverable or achievable, that we're likely to win. Um, but the other thing we've also said is that actually it's been a very good process, and it's, you know, say it's only three or four meetings over a period of three weeks, at the end of which we'll have this document, which even if it, you know, it doesn't, isn't successful, at least it's got some sort of vision in terms of what we want to do in the future. Yeah. It's, it's, it's got broad agreements between uh, OBA and us in terms of what the things we'd like to do, assuming, assuming we do, assuming that is this case once the, once the, once the document is finished. Um, uh, one of the other things that the, um, the bid requires us to do is to uh, demonstrate um, that we've consulted with other bodies in the town and there's, and there's a strong emphasis on um, cultural potential as well, so uh, able to, to support um, cultural activities in the future. So we've got the festival, um, the festival music drama, the, the international festival, the, uh, the museum, um, and as well as you know, business association, church, various various people that we've got on a list of people who say we'll consult and say, you know, we're putting this in. Can we can we have a letter or an email of support that just says, and it's in very broad principles. We've, we've been informed about this and we support what's happening within the town. I think that's about it, really, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, the, the, the important thing to remember is it's been 
a really, really good process because it's actually, for, for particularly for me personally, it's shown that there's a, a massive will in this town to actually sort of get it right and go for these sorts of things. And it's been enlightening. And it's also, and I'll walk around yesterday, one of the things that struck Jerry and myself is actually when you have to look at the town, especially the marketplace, because that's the sort of area we're talking about. We can't head on down West Street or down North Street, which is our aspirational view of the town through the conservation areas. The most important thing is it focuses on what little things are actually wrong. Not necessarily wrong, but slightly broken in the town. And it's you know, and that's been important too, because it's refreshed me to say we can galvanise ourselves, even if it's all falls apart. There are little bits in the marketplace around there that we can actually refresh as a town council and make it look brighter, better. Something that's really lacking in the town these days, it came up this morning when we were walking round, and that is how <coughs> poor some of the signage is. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you were going to Absolutely. individual shopkeepers, Absolutely. they can't do anything about that. Mm, absolutely. But we need some way of getting to... I mean, one to... of the things that came across is particularly, we noticed, or well, everyone noticed, including the highway mm -hmm. guys, which is quite, you know, yeah. it was sort of like, hmm, you know, maybe we should get, I should do get some figures and try and work some of this stuff out mm. because it's, things are broken here and they shouldn't be. I mean, like the planters and the bus stop and the, you know, it's all <coughs> looking very, very shabby and the weeds okay. everywhere in the marketplace. Those sorts of things, but that's for another day. And I think that's, you know, that's just a general point that we could do immediately, refresh on that. But the, the most important thing is that we don't, as Jerry just said, we don't aim too high. And we all agree that, you know, that sort of 800,000, which will refresh the, the area around the uh, War Memorial. And I think our aspirational thing is to have it sort of semi, semi paved, isn't it? Mm. You know, it's I not very long. I mean, we've got to be realistic. Since that was done, you've also got to be careful about sensibilities. Mm. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I mean, I think this is, at, at the moment, it's just about getting this piece of paper. Yeah. This but there is bad to signage, to go back to the absolutely. signage. It's yeah, always yeah. people who are different styles. That was one of the we could get a more up. corporate look. Well, one of the things that we, I didn't mention, sorry, when I was running through the track about what we discussed, one of the things that we have said as, as, as part of the vision, things we would like to see improved are... Um, very much signage, um, better for when we were at the town trail. So we do, we yeah. do have a town trail, but no one knows about it. And they wouldn't know where, they wouldn't know there was one if they came yeah. in, if a visitor came into town. Um, whether that could also be on an app, you know, because that's what everyone's doing these yeah. days. You have a town trail on an app, don't you? Don't want to run yeah. a bit of paper anymore. <laughs> so mm. those sorts of things potentially yeah, could be deliverable at relatively low cost. Yeah. So even if, even if we don't get £800,000, we might be able to find a few thousand pounds from our budget to do some refurbishment yeah, and improvements or whatever. I think it's, it's already on a limbo, isn't it, the town trail? But I think things like yeah, that... Yeah, but, it needs, it needs but if you get off the bus from Peterborough, there's nothing, yeah, nothing, to, nothing to, know, to tell you. Good and then we've yeah. got a signpost in the middle of the marketplace with half of it blacked out. Yeah, exactly, that's what through. I'm trying yeah. to and say. Yeah. Why is it there? And why is it there? Why is it there? Why is it there? Those sorts of things don't exist. Exactly. No, it's little things, but that's... They've been there for a long time, and walking around with a critical eye has brought those to the fore. And as I say, those are the things we could, we could deal with immediately. But the purpose of this meeting is to actually inform you as to what's actually happening. And the refreshing part about it is that all the people involved have been really, really keen to get this bid done, get the piece of paper out there. So if it comes about, we're primed and ready. I think one of the architects is coming up tomorrow yeah. to the meeting tomorrow as well. So we've got an architect on board to say, you know, this mm -hmm. this could this could work, this could happen. Who's submitting the document? Is it us? Uh, yes, we we, we yeah. I mean we we, we haven't absolutely finalised that, but we um, the the, the um, it has to be from a partnership. Yeah. Right. So they're expecting to see the museum, Mountain Town Council, Business yeah. Association, County Council Highways, mm. the ENC, all saying yes, we support this bid. Mm. Um, so, um, I had an email from David Oliver saying that he would support the bid, yeah. but he'd like to see it first. Yeah. Okay. So, we, we to, so, so we, at the moment, we're suggesting that probably Town Council would be the lead, yeah. lead um, 
party in the, in the, in the budget here. Is this a subset to our neighbourhood plan? Not really, no. I wouldn't have said. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it, it also reflects, that as much as the neighbourhood plan talks about what, what the way things should develop in the town, it also reflects what is in the neighbourhood plan, but I don't think there's much in it that overlaps, really. Um, very little that overlaps, yeah. So what's the next step? Well, I think there's two options really. Either um, you could delegate authority to us, I guess, to carry on completing the um, bid and to submit it in Edinburgh Town Council's name by week or Friday. Or if you if you are not comfortable doing that without having seen the final bid, we're going to have to come back and do a, another the same thing again this time next week um, uh, with, with when we've got a completed document. Mm. Um, and, and the other thing is to actually come with everyone's together, which is brilliant, to actually say, you know, we, we would, as Jerry said before, you could, you, you could go in for a bit of two million and have to find another two million in four years, over four years, which is unrealistic. And we had the, the highways guy yeah, yesterday saying what you can achieve with £800,000, you know, what, and he was quite, you know, positive about it. He said, well, we could certainly do this bit. But if you take it to the next bit, that's another million. Mm -hmm. Take it to the next bit, that's another million. So from, if you say from the post off, from beans to the coffee tavern, is that's, to revamp that, that's three million pounds. Wow. That's more expensive than the call. So, you know, it, so it's, that's, that's completely unrealistic. Yeah. So we have to concentrate the, the well, I say the, eight, the million, the 800,000 in one place and think about that afterwards a little bit. But is it, um, is it all completely feasible? Uh, as a council, are we happy to take on that 100,000 over four years, you know, 100,000 a year over four years? Mm -hmm. Although it might, it, although there are opportunities for grant aid to that, to, to hit that and make that a small amount, but we'd have to commit ourselves to mm -hmm. £100,000 a year. It's a lot of money to come out of precept. No, no, no. It's a lot of money to come out of precept. I don't think we have to commit to £100,000 or indeed any penny at this point. Why, why are we committing to £100,000? It's a notional figure, I'm, I'm happy to live with it. Well, we've got to put an eight figure in the bid. Yes, yeah. no, no, I'm happy with that, yeah. but not just. Well done, it and that's it. Oh, no, no, no. We no, don't. No, no, that's, not, not, that's, not, that's, that's not what I'm saying. But right. it's that sort of figure. Does everyone feel that that sort of figure is achievable and reasonable? Because that, that's the important yeah, thing. Well, I have no idea what happens if we were successful in the bid and then, and then we, couldn't, yeah, we couldn't fund much. Presumably the, the funding would disappear from. Um, so we're going to have better than now. So, yeah. Um, I, I don't know. <coughs> I don't know what the rules would be then. But I mean, yeah. I, I would say, <coughs> to be honest, we should go for it. Um, we don't have to worry about 100,000 because until we've actually got to say a, a nod to say yes, you have a chance, mm -hmm. we don't really have to worry about that money uh, or do anything about it. And it's going to take a lot of knocking on the doors for, to get little bits of cash in, isn't it? <laughs> so, it is. Dark. That's too much. Uh, is, is this the first time that this bidding process has operated. It can't be because there's other other ice yeah. reactions. So, 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 so all this work could be <laughs> support and bid. Oh, future bid. Well, although we did ask that question. Yeah, we I asked that no. question and I got told no, this but, is a one-off. But, I mean, one I think it is a one-off thing as well. Right. So I think, I think, I suspect it, I mean, you know the conversation, not me, but I suspect this is a one-off because there is only this fund that's been announced yeah. by government. Mm -hmm. But it, there obviously have been other funds in the past because there's other, there are other so high street actions. So there might be another one in the future, but you can't guarantee that. Thraxton did one about 10, 10 years ago, okay. a bit less. Yeah. The same thing. Um, yeah. they, what they did was was redo all their shop fronts mm -hmm. and make yeah, them brighter sort of and smarter. And um, there is an exemplar out there yeah. that they gave us that has preview all a whole list and photographs of all the towns that have had the, the process done and how it's changed the look of the town mm -hmm. by having these sorts of things done. Because it's all about it's all about bringing tourism in, it's all about funding. Yeah. A lot of this is about uh, the government's real concern about the uh, collapse of high streets. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's it. I don't have anything more to say about it. And that's, that's why that's they're going, ooh. 
Um, we'd probably are going to be a town of hairdressers and coffee shops and... They are. Probably. Yes. Indeed, if you look at this document, that's exactly what we have. No, but I mean, that is, I, I'm quite certain that's really what's prompted it. Um, and obviously, I think we should just grab it as best we can. There's an intention of saving our high streets. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's what it is. Yeah. From central government. I, I mean, it might be a cynical view, but I feel that's probably what it is. Yeah. Let's just assume for the moment that we, we're going forward with this. At what point, assuming that the bid is successful, will we end up having to commit ourselves? to this joint funding, Presum do we know? Presumably next financial year, because we say it's April, it's April 2020 onwards. Right. So it's, it's four years from April 2020. So to some extent, I understand the reservations about saying, well, you could in theory simply raise it by putting up the precept over a four year period to cover it. But in reality, in budgeting terms, we're probably going to have to be looking at how much goes on the precept when we start devising it this mm. October to approve it in January to bring it in in April to potentially either fund or part fund it. Yeah. Mm. So that's the realistic time scale. I think, I think uh, the other thing that, uh, as, as both Jerry and Clive have said, is that obviously uh, the business association is closely involved with this mm -hmm. and if they're closely involved with this they're going to put some money in there i'm not going to say how much because nobody can tell you that but i would have thought it would be up to them to raise funds as well as ourselves uh, because obviously they have, they have an interest in it as well mm -hmm. if they're going to do it now they're going to do it in the future uh, and i don't think we should sort of say that the business association won't do it but you can't rely on them doing I think, too much. I think we should be expecting and encouraging them to do it, but I'm mindful of the fact that actually the biggest beneficiary of the Christmas lights provided by this town are the town's traders. Mm -hmm. And year in and year out, when we sought some sort of financial contribution from the traders, none has been forthcoming. So I think we've got to be realistic. Oh, we got it this year. Yeah. We did actually do better yeah. this year we've got, than we've, we've got ever done. Not, not more. But there's been year after year after year. I appreciate that. It's yeah. just that it's the yeah. hard knocking on the door and asking them for yeah. But not that's going not the way. point. David's point is they're not massively given to. No, I appreciate yeah. that. This is quite because they're scraping a living. Yeah, yeah. 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 this is quite interesting actually because the conversation we had yesterday, uh, after we were walking around, that I had with Paul Evely, was um, the training association is looking, they got 100 grand, um, 10 grand for the clock yeah. from the vintage fair mm. now they, he was saying that they consider that to be a success and they are looking mm. at repeating it doing it again next year now if they do it again next year and raise money again what do they spend the money on well you know we <laughs> just look around the town yeah. you know you've got shop fronts you've got paving you've got a bit you know, just keep keep having vintage fairs. <laughs> you know, keep the cash coming in, and then. But the, the impression I got was that he's quite happy for that. The money raised on things like the vintage fair, if it becomes an annual event, will go back into the coffers <coughs> of the town to be given to the town by the trading association. Which I took to be wow, you know, for someone for a bunch of people that seemingly. Quite, sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> quite, um, quite, I'm, deep, I'm, I'm very quite, pockets. They, quite, they seem to be quite generous about it. Yeah, or, or Paulson. Yeah, no, no, I mean, look, I mean, I, I give a hell of a lot to the town already, but, you know, uh, it, is, it is difficult sometimes because, uh, you know, you have ebbs and flows of business. I mean, one of the reasons I'm in Eastwood Road is I can't afford the rents in the high street. <coughs> you know, I mean, the, the Nat West building, for instance, is 25,000 a year. Mm. Mm. That's just the rent, that's without the business rates, you know, uh, on top of that, and, and the cost of running and electricity, gas, and, and everything else. So you have to do, if you work on that basis, to, to make a profit out of that one shop, and it's not that big a shop, you've got to do at least a £150,000 turnover. And a lot of these smaller shops in town don't do £150,000 <coughs> a 
So just, it is different. Just on the northwest, um, again, um, Paul informed me this afternoon that um, they've spoken to the lease um, agent, um, and that west have got that lease for until another five years, until 2025. Um, so from their point of view, they're quite happy to sit there collecting the money and the place sitting empty, mm -hmm. which is not great for the high street, obviously. <coughs> but I mean, that, that's the sort of cost that the high street people, and most of those premises are rented, there are one or two that own their own apartments, but most of those places are rented, so it is difficult to find extra cash in the centre of town. I mean, like I say, I'm very lucky where I am, I don't pay half that. You can get lorries in now there too. Well, exactly, yeah. It's yeah. the parking, isn't it? Yeah. And whoever goes in there. I talk to them at the gym because there's now a lot of gyms going on the high street. Mm. Um, but it's it's the parking mm -hmm. aspect. That's there's nothing we go about this, I no, yeah. you know, but, yeah. but they will be quite keen to <coughs> have a gym on the high street. It might be appropriate. appropriate. <laughs> all these people, these people, these people, these people that drive to the gym to yeah. just want to go on the running machine, it's great. So we want to try to right. Yeah. Um, I don't want to be too wicked about this, but there's possibly something we can do about parking, but it wouldn't be very popular. And that's basically to start charging people. Now, we've always prided ourselves as a town on having free parking, but that sadly has a deleterious effect. Because some people abuse this privilege, and we know who most of them are. You know, the work down there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The family. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's, but, and the other thing that we do face in the very long term is, is the loss of the facility of our long stay car park. Mm -hmm. And that is on the horizon, or right? it's maybe quite a long way over the horizon. But it's, it's not that many years from No, it's years. not. <laughs> No, it's not. And, I mean, that would be, that, that's really going to force us into some serious thinking, frankly. I, no, can I just say that we have lots of facilities virtually in the long state car park and it's being used by fairly. I think this is where I'm coming back to the thing about uh, ticketing and all that sort of stuff. It's, well, I think enforcement is a key. Yeah. I, I, that's, that's what I think. Um, but it's always the same. It's always the same with anything that's to do with those matters. It's enforcement that's the key, and not necessarily, you know, the, the rules that you put up. People ignore them. I don't know if we ought to charge so We don't want to put people. No, on can I just say? I said at the very beginning. Yeah. I'm just throwing something into that little wee melting pot. Sadly, this isn't relevant to what we're talking about. No, no, no. Yes, no. Straight, <laughs> straight, straight a little. No, I don't think it is. I disagree because parking is essential to keep the town centre going. But I don't think they're going to give us a grant <laughs> to, get, to go and <laughs> buy some more no. lands for a car park. May, 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 maybe yeah. not, but you know, there's ways and ways. But there are ways of changing it. Yes. Councillor mm -hmm. Stagg. Uh, I would like to propose that we go ahead with this application and that councillors who've worked on it up to now will be given carte blanche for whatever. I sense an amendment. <laughs> I, I would second that. Uh, so to go ahead and um, do this years. on our, on our behalf, and not have to come back here every ten minutes for yeah, us to be on across the team. I third it. Boris wants to do Boris wants to do our name to have another meeting. With yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, only, it's only one, isn't it? Yeah, it's only so, next week. Yeah. So does it do a, a great harm for us to come back? And well, Boris wants to. Boris wants to solve his cabinet, so maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think uh, just. Well, as, I'm quite happy for just as a, just a point of that uh, to add to that oh, for you, Malcolm. Yeah. I think what you'll see is a document that is lots of there are very there is very little very factual very stuff in there, and lots and lots of aspirations. <laughs> yeah. and lots and lots of aspirations. Yeah. 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 Dancing around. Yeah. That's what it is yeah. because <laughs> there is a greater. What we're trying to do is incorporate a. a possible within the financial thing, but also embroider it with yeah. the long-term aims that we have, the aspirational aims. But I said to everyone at the annual town meeting, you know, the, the town has to come back to us 
and say, what would you like to have happen to your town? Because the Wharf Brigade are very happy or would like that whole stretch from the river up from, from the wharf, up past the, the trees, past the football ground, which goes into the things we've been saying before about tidying that bit up a bit and then a walk up through North Street into the centre of town, down. And the museum are very happy for that to happen in the other direction as well. So there's lots of, lots of voices saying this is our yeah, sure big are. town aspiration, yeah. but let's, you know, if we get this grant, let's start with this little middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were, yeah. Yeah. You were yeah. looking yeah. for East for a moment. Firstly, you've had a proposal and a second on a motion. Yep. So yes. voted. And then, we, then we've gone off track. But this is also the expression of interest. So this isn't our final no. bit. No, no, no. This will literally be, you know, yes, okay, well, come back with a bit I'm more. very pleased with these gentlemen taking it on. I think it's very yeah. it's yeah. a difficult yeah. thing to do at short notice. Mm -hmm. yeah, no. So thank you very much. Well, for the record, we couldn't have done it without the, the town trading association. No, business, 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 business people have been yeah. brilliant with it. Yeah. And back, you know, a bit solid on it. So it's if you were given the opportunity to do it, would it be possible to <coughs> circulate something around councillors by, say, this time next week? I'm not necessarily talking about a meeting, but just, just, I, I, just will we have the opportunity to look at something and maybe make some direct feedback to yourself? Of course. Before not. Friday. And, and, I, and I can't see, you know, if we haven't done it, if we haven't got it virtually finished by this time next week, we, we ain't going to do it, are we, basically? Because it's <laughs> going to be in a, in a week, week on Friday, so yeah. yeah. We have a proposal, which in broad terms and perhaps taking out the words carte blanche, um, <laughs> authorises the council to pursue this uh, expression of interest and allows councillors Hutton and Humphreys to progress that and prepare the documentation to submit. Now that's been proposed, it's been seconded by Councillor Clark. Are there any amendments? All those in favour, please indicate. Two turkeys. But that is now unanimous, which is yeah. great. Um, so that, that's, that's excellent. So we know now where we're going with it. Hopefully something will be circulated. That will give individual councillors an opportunity to contact either Councillor Hutton or Councillor Humphreys, with a suggestion. It may simply be a suggestion about the phraseology of something. It might be, ooh, couldn't we include X? And I'm sure that they can take that on board and will either decide to adopt it or not, but yeah. that it will be within their discretion. Yes. Okay. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else we can discuss on this particular matter, or, or need to? Because no. We've got a little bit of time well, in hand. The, the, the one thing that I'd like to come back to is that, you know, the thing about the bus shelter and the planters and the things that are around the marketplace that exist already. I mean, they are, it, it is pretty, well, it's, it's pretty it's shabby, really, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, like, I, now, can we, is, there, is it possible for us as a town council to do something about it now? Who, who, whose marketplace is it? Is it it's ours. Place? I mean, we do do the planters. It, it's something that we haven't got round to this year. But it, I can, I mean, we can go and buy some plants and put them in it. It's not a problem. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's something that the estate should have done and they'll walk around today. Mm. Yeah, did you notice that? Mm. <laughs> I, think, I think the problem is we always do them. And then last year the garden group wanted to do them. Yeah, yeah that's the And part. this kind of mm. took away, yeah. mm. took our minds off the fact yeah. that we always do yeah, them. Yeah. And so they've got out of sync. Yeah, I mean, things as well that were pointed out to us, but things like the, the benches that are there uh, are all, you know, getting scratched and... You know, there's a coat of paint needs putting on, the, mm -hmm. and the bus shelter needs the, the old tape from the arm bomb scraping mm -hmm. off it. And the, the telephone box is a, an eyesore. It is. You know, the little things like that, you think, mm, okay, yeah, I could do that. And yeah. the weeding and the, the thing is, they are all sorts of not stuff. Uh, that you took about yeah. the bus stop. Yeah, the bus stop is highway. Right. Right. No, exactly. Um, and although, it, you know, I know we could all say, yeah, you know, we could easily tidy it up. 
we, we struggle with our resources at this time. Yeah, no, I, I then completely take understand on something that. that we're not I, com actually I completely doing. understand that, but it was just something that I felt this is a, the ideal opportunity to raise that sort of point mm. that yes. mm, we're trying to make the town smarter, we're trying to get tourism, we're trying to do that, because this is what the broader conversation about the document's all about. Uh, and there are, but there are little things we could do just like that I tomorrow agree. morning. I you know, but when it happens. Are you volunteering? Are you No, no, but if you, if you, if you, well, I, want, well, I don't mind a bag of, of potting compost and a tray of flowers from the thing, and boom, it's done. You know, I, I yeah, I do it. I do. Give me the money, I'll get done. Yeah, there you go. But so, well, I can't do it tomorrow. Do you want to do it? That's the problem. Well, yeah. this is, you know, these are all discussion points. Yeah. Yeah. Cancer fail. Would it be possible? I mean, obviously, unfortunately, um, I can mail it pick this year because we were away, but uh, we will have a little pick and that works. Why can't we have uh, a tidy up town centre day? So for a Sunday or something like that. Um, for, I mean, I can get plans for free anyway, because I have a bill and you give them to me, because he owes me, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's not the problem. It's you know not I mean? the getting the plants, it's watering the Yeah, no, but what I'm saying is, obviously, I know John and Nobby have been really, really busy yeah, yeah. and everything. Really, uh, it really has been a hell of a uh, summer for them so far, with the rain and everything, that mm. really put them back, and then all the mowing, etc. that I have to do. But I'm quite happy with you to go out, I can't do it during the week, so I work. But I can go out on a Sunday, I can do, put some plants in there. My wife would love it. That's a great start, because if we know we can get the plants, yeah. we know we can get the, you know, the bag of potting compounds. But as, you say, as Councillor Chester says, you know, well, who ultimately takes responsibility mm, for it. Yeah. Is that something we feed back to the, the trade association? Yeah. To the shops yeah, well, yeah, and say, yeah. look, hang on, that plant is just yeah. outside your door. Yeah. Yeah. Give it a go out there with a bottle of... Yeah. Well, there are only two options. Either it has to be that, or this council may have to start thinking, right, well, if we want to do that in the town centre, we may have to employ somebody for three hours yeah. a week or whatever also, it is yeah. in can, order to do that. Yeah, you can also hire, um, hire planters and the companies bring them in, fully planted up, put them down, and they either put, fill them with water, so it'll hold water for a month, um, and I mean, there's loads of companies that do that. With respect, we've always, for years, hired planters around the court house and things, done hanging mm. baskets, haven't we? Can All I, around the town. Can I ask a question? Ready, done. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Very if, 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 for instance, we got plants and say the potting compass for three, mm. right, would it be possible to put a little plaque in those to say, uh, kindly donated by whoever it was? Only watered by. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have this awful feeling about how they might get watered. We're not too careful. Might be watered by a, a very tall dog. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I don't see any reason in principle why not. I mean, you well, see these well, stuff, those sorts of signs appear everywhere on roundabouts, yeah. sold off yeah. by the local highways authority and so on. Actually, that's really expensive. You know, the, the company that runs that. Uh, you know, the roundabout that we yeah. got. You want yeah. to see how much they want to charge you if you yeah. want to stick a sign up on it. It's probably well, expensive. I'm just thinking, you know, because I, mean, I mean, I know, uh, obviously, uh, uh, sort of the, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the people that run these companies uh, in my capacities as the, on the other side of the business, uh, because they're all my clients. So I'm sure I could get them to donate some bags of potting compost to the soil and, and the plants. Free if they thought you were going to get a little bit of a you, you, you've, got, you've got the barn, you've got the oil groves, you've got yeah. quite a lot of places around. You'll have to agree to maintain it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I think, I think it's worth it. That's the point. We've got a meeting oh, tomorrow. No, no, it's not the point. No, it's not the point. Sorry to say, but in those plants in the summer, if you don't water them at least every other day, they're dead. Well, I think that's probably down to the people or the the, the shops and the businesses yeah. around the Why area. don't I suggest to Paul tomorrow, as an afterthought, after the, the, the application meeting, as he's there, to say, look, put the idea to him, but if we do the plant, because he gave help us on the walk around yesterday, if we do this, if we do plant these things up, you send an email to your trading associate, your trade association, 
and find, find back from them, are they willing to maintain or willing to water them? The plant is if we do it. When, I mean, it's a simple enough question, isn't it? When Transition Anvil did their gardening thing a couple of years ago, there were some shops who were stunned and got yeah. involved and kept it. Yeah. Some, yeah. some, some did, did nothing. So it will depend on who wants well, to do it. Well, the goodwill yes, spreads, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. I think the important thing is if you go out, you're seen to ten, be tendering to the court and the bloke next to you isn't, then you, know, you can actually turn around and say, or you can so it's you. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm doing my bit for the town, you're not. You know, a name and shame almost. Councillor Stack. Uh, I think we're getting a bit carried away. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some time to fill story going on, all sorts of uh, little avenues that we could do, and we'll borrow this and we'll do that. The main thing <coughs> is getting this thing done. Mm -hmm. Then we can open it up to all these little schemes, get estates involved, which we've just kicked into touch. Um, <laughs> And somewhere in your archives is a design for planters and little gardens all over the town that somebody did way back. Ooh, long back. time ago. Um, because I wanted to promote this at some stage yeah. and somebody pulled it out. I don't know where it I might, I might still have got it, but it was. It. it was Councillor Linda Purser who, who, it was, right. who, who commissioned yeah. it from somebody who was, yeah, it was before studying gardens. Yeah. 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 Exactly yeah. what it was. She, she, was. Want, she wanted to do planting at the entrances to the town yeah. by the signage, mm. uh, but she couldn't do it because <coughs> uh, the highways went, don't like it. And that's always the problem. <coughs> anything that's flat and a pavement and a road, it's highways territory and may protect that with a vengeance. Well, although well, they do do it in other, in other towns and villages. Yeah, you yeah, but, yeah I know, but they don't do it here. We've had, I, we had, I remember all that. Yeah. I mean, I'm grateful yeah. for Councillor for Jessica reminding me. But we could ask again. She, 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 she brought up a, a, a really good little wee thing. And it basically went, you know, look, welcome to our lovely town, is more or less what he was doing. But I, I always said, no. Nope. Well, it's interesting because on the way into Weldon, they have Weldon was a town in bloom or something, mm. uh, and and that's got planters around the yeah. sign for Weldon. Yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe things have moved on. Yeah, and you probably maybe should at least comply things. with specific sizes yes. and have a risk Where assessment. And, yeah, yeah. But that, 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 that's the other thing that's happening in the town, to me, my mind, there's all these people who are putting signs on places where they're not allowed. If you would Locking like to stay ratings. on the planning meeting, we're going to be discussing that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I stay on? It's not on the, it's not on the agenda. <laughs> just, just a point of view. <laughs> That, we um, his name was before. Peter Peter Stamper, and he's, he was in historic England. Oh, that's the name. Um, and he lives in Warmington, so he has a vested interest in helping us get this. But one thing he did suggest in the application, although we haven't got it's just an application for it, <coughs> it hasn't got any detail in it. But he said the one thing they really historic England really don't like is the Victorian twee, yeah. black and gold and flowers around the signpost stuff to the towns they want to see clean contemporary mm. uh, design that will lead to a, you know progression that has longevity to it yeah. or actually not not museum and or not theme park and or but actually a vibrant town that's looking to the future that's looking to cycleways to electric cars that you know to the the next generation of things is happening quicker than we thought. I understand that, so but I would also be slightly down. alarmed at some sorts of signage you might end up with if we go a little too contemporary. What? No, no, so, no, no, no. He was, he was just a point. He was just a heads up on the application, like don't, because he said obviously from his point of view, being on the committees for these things in the past, mm. they've rejected lots and lots of things that say well, we want pretty little. Mm. Throw back yeah. the town signs, sure theme park out Going back to the plum, plum business that they're in, plants look very well, but it's in the summer. So it looks like in the winter, yeah. spring and autumn too, which is so important. Well, if we can get yeah, yeah, plants, we can change them over and put evergreens in at the end. Yeah. 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 There, are, there are projects, I mean, Councillor Radcliffe and I, for donkey's years, have been trying to get a cycle train for the children up to mm -hmm. the school <coughs> and solve a lot of the parking problems that we have in, mm -hmm. in 
process. Well, I think there's, you know, it's great. Um, you know, is there something like that we could also... There's all that? sorts of ideas come out of the woodwork, and it's great, Terry, that you, you know, these things are all... Because we're not inventing the wheel. We know this has all been done before, and it's been tried and failed, presumably. But let's not give up. Yeah. Well, the plan is yeah, the same time got off this ground time to go up down. So that never got off the ground twice. Well, let's try and make it so it does this. Yes, exactly. Side. I That's think seriously look into the high because you can have something for autumn, you can have something okay. for winter. Mm. And they just bring it in, take yeah. it away. You don't have that worry of having to. And I respectfully suggest that that goes on to an estate's mm -hmm. agenda. Yeah. Um, <coughs> might perhaps need a, 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 a regular high street slot so to speak certainly yeah. whilst this is potentially pending and it has to be priced as well doesn't it so, you know, it yeah. to, so let, let's it. initiate that yeah, if, we're, if we're going to spend 100,000 a year we don't really want to have any extra cost on it like you know, the implants being put in and the ground every three months well, I think that should be something we should be doing anyway I mm know -hmm. oh, I'm talking about we can do it for free but I'm, I'm sorry yeah. if we have a uh, well, I think what the best thing to do is, is to consult with the people of the town because if they're willing for it to pay a bit more money for things to look nice, they will pay. Okay. Um, I'm conscious of the fact that time is now moving on. Um, unless anybody has anything else they want desperately to contribute to, the <coughs> to that part of the discussion, we'll just move on to the last item on the agenda, which is any other relevant matters for report. I'll simply look around the room and see if anybody catches my eye, which they don't. In which case, at uh, sort of seven, 17 or thereabouts, I'll call this meeting closed. Those of us who sit on planning can start again in 30 minutes.